mean, that video from Lil Durk is so iconic, but I've just been wondering who the chick playing Taylor Swift is. <sighs> Said nobody ever. But also, how did she end up in this video of all people? You don't know who I am? You don't know about me, but I'll bet you want to. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I am the unnamed Taylor Swift. Literally any blonde chick on the internet could claim that was her. But they don't have behind the scenes footage. Literally the only clip I took because I signed an NDA and was scared to videotape. <laughs> What'd I do this week? Uh, you know, just hung out with my buds, Lil Dirk and Cole Bennett and the production team Lyrical Lemonade. Even if it is in a creative business context. Know that I, would psycho. I always wonder how people end up in certain movies or TV shows or music videos. It's just like, how did this fall in your hands. Of all the top blondes in Los Angeles, just how did I end up in a Lil Durk music video? Well, <clears throat> get ready for this. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? The internet. Literally, it was just a posting on LA casting. It was like Taylor Swift lookalike, blonde, five nine or taller. It said the pay rate, so I was like, okay. Like money. Submitted for it. I don't usually submit for music videos because I can't dance and I'm tall and awkward a rap video they're not usually looking for my type this was last friday 22nd and then i forgot about it because i submit for a lot of gigs my agents submit me for a lot of things unless they're asking me for a self-tape or a callback i don't really think about them because you just can't dwell on that stuff whatever monday comes around i'm at a photo shoot for walkser we were wrapping up it was like five or six and i got a text from this casting director and he was like hey you're booked to play taylor swift tomorrow respond with yes it seemed like a very automated text but it's like that's a little sketch It said the pay rate, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Money. He responded with yes, and then he's like, okay. okay. I don't know the location or the time. And I was like, I was also again like, okay, this is a little scared. I was like, do you know if it's a day or a night shoot? He goes, no. 10, and that was when he texted me back and he was like, okay, here's the location, and also you need wardrobe and to do your hair and makeup. And he sent me that picture of Taylor. So It was very specific everything, so I was like, wonderful. Tomorrow I'm going to spend my day looking for a beautiful silver dress and attempting to do my makeup <laughs> like Taylor Swift who had her makeup done by professionals. That and my call time was 8 p.m., which was good because I was finding out the night before. So I was like, at least I can get my ish together today, you know? And throughout the day, I was just thinking they didn't give me a lot of like minor logistics that they usually do. Usually they tell you about like, and you're probably gonna be out of here at this time. We're gonna have craft, text this number if you can't find parking. Just a lot of like minor details, but they just gave me like a very generalized thing. And all I knew was I was playing Taylor Swift. I didn't even realize it was that scene, honestly. I mean, I probably could have figured it out since the pictures of her were so specific. Also, at this point, not even gonna lie, I didn't even know it was a Lil Durk music video. I just knew I was doing a music video and getting paid. Money. Tuesday throughout the day, I was thinking in my head, I was like, I wonder who this music video is for. So I went back to the original posting and I didn't notice it before, but it did say that it was a Lil Durk music video. Are you this is gonna make me look so stupid. I don't really listen to rap, okay? Don't But I had to look up who Lil Durk was. <clears throat> and once I saw who he was. I realized I, I knew some of the songs, okay? I'm just more of like an indie, like not like other girls kind of girl, you know? I was like, okay, I'm gonna not ask any more questions about logistics and I'm gonna get my butt there 15 minutes early, actually. I'm gonna be there at 7.45! Um, I showed up and they actually had hair and makeup and outfit for me, so I don't know why. I stress about that. We took off all the crappy makeup I did and she did it so good. She made me look so much like Taylor Swift. The wardrobe was incredible as well. If you watch the video, they made this look like the beautiful Taylor Swift. So pop off. Production wise, I, I mean, you guys probably saw the video. It was Lyrical Lemonade, Cole Bennett. So it was like super professional. It was supposed to shoot me at 920, but my hair and makeup was taking so long, but they managed to quickly like flip around the way they were shooting. And we ended up shooting my scene last actually, which was super nice. And they made that flow like so perfectly. They're communication was awesome and i heard from like wardrobe and makeup because i was mostly talking with them but i guess they started shooting around noon and we wrapped at like 10 30 i think so they shot kanye crazy in a span of like 10 and a half hours on tuesday it came out today january 29th like three days later so they managed to film all of that and edit all of that and make it look so poppin so fast i signed like a really strict nda saying i wouldn't like take pictures but talk or whatever i didn't have to keep my big mouth closed for like 
weeks and I only had to keep my big mouth closed for three days so hey well, a lot of my friends and stuff like oh my gosh did you take pictures with them we filmed my scene the little clip of the two of us a few times through and then we took a break so they could set up the camera at a different angle we were sitting by a heater because it was really cold in the warehouse when I say we I mean me and little Dirk heater because it was really cold which is very nice like some of the guys from production got up so i could sit there which was super nice i wasn't gonna be like hey can i take a picture with you like no you thing too where i don't like to put people on like a pedestal you're more talented than me you have more followers than me you have more money than me but ultimately we're both humans and therefore we're both equals <laughs> What was Lil Dirk like? What was Cole Bennett like? It's not like we sat down and had a heart to heart. Like, we're both cool and nice and professional and we got our stuff done. So, it's kind of funny for me because it was such like a last minute. I didn't have a ton of details. But I guess if you're a big production company like that, you kind of just tr like throw it in the casting director's hands. They're not putting so much focus. Like, they're three second Taylor Swift. They have better things to worry about which is completely understandable you just hope that the casting director gets a nice responsible kind actress you need to calm down. that was just like something that was kind of surprising to me i guess i'm on billboard's instagram they didn't tag me i'm in little dirk's music video i'm also not listed in the description box but it's okay i just think it's so funny that i was like mildly sketched out about and it was something so not sketchy and so professional yeah the video's sick the song's sick the concept is sick <laughs> lyrical lemonade they know what they're doing but yeah that's how some chick who's been living in california for four months ends up in a little dirk music video the internet cool i think i covered everything if you have any questions feel free to comment them and i will answer you really thankful that of all the dumb blondes in la they could have picked they picked <laughs> I just ruined my three seconds of stardom, didn't I? Because if so, five seconds ago, turn around and make it all, and it's time to go.